Hello, hello, beautiful people. I am Ozzy. I am so excited to welcome you to my very first episode of Chit Chat with Ozzy. How to declutter podcast. I was ready, but also I was so scared to talk and hear my own voice. <laughs> but I am now ready to share with you about how to declutter and how important it is to manage our everyday living even while we are so busy with work or our social life. We have so many things that we still want to keep, still love them and some of us not sure what to do with them or just couldn't be bothered with them anymore, either being so lazy or busy. Maybe some of the stuff are all broken and no longer needed. Some of us, just like myself, just leave them either in the room, inside the wardrobe, underneath the bed, <laughs> storage room, or anywhere where we can find in the apartment or house. Hello, hello, beautiful people. To celebrate the launch of my first podcast of Chit Chat, How to Declutter, I wanted to share a bit of my story with you as your host and why and how I came to do this podcast. I know there are a lot of these topics out there flying around, but a lot of my family and friend were asking me to share my own story and methods to all the beautiful people out there. I truly believe that anyone can launch a good podcast and therefore, I want to share my experience and knowledge with you. I know there's, a, there's someone out there who will find what I share useful. Just to share with you, I have three siblings in my family. Both of my parents are working. They are very busy with their works, business, social activities, friend, extended family or friend, or even with us. My mom always taught us how to look after our own belongings and in that way they will last forever and also easy to find them as the busy parents they also wanted us to help each other in maintaining the household in general for example i'm gonna give you some example hmm. well my mom always taught us that after you use something to return it back to where you take it so that the next person knows where to find it or even myself. Then, do not mess the house and place all the dirty clothes at one area or the family designated washing area so that if someone came and visited us, the house is not messy. In this way, indirectly, we are all maintaining the house, tidiness and our personal hygiene. She always had a way of organizing the household. My mom was busy with her work, her activities and at the same time her household was so organized and manageable. Oh gosh, I don't know how she did it but she is amazing woman and i think during that time when i was kid i was thinking like ah mom please kid leave me alone i want to watch movie i want to play games but now i really appreciate it both my mom and my late grandmother were so neat and tidy from the kitchen bedroom living room 
even to the garden. My grandma, my late grandma, had a lot of children. My mom had a lot of siblings. So my grandma took a lot. Like, you know, she had to look after and she had to be organized in managing her household. For example, cooking, prepare, preparing breakfast, lunch boxes, lunches and dinner. She also taught us how to look after our own belonging, for example, to do our own laundry, folding and ironing, and keeping a tidy wardrobe. When I moved to Sydney, I had no choice to live in a nice but small one-bedroom apartment. Well, that time I was still single and of course, I like to have nice things, clothes and furniture. I also like looking good, dress smart when I go out socializing. One day, when my partner and I decided to live together, he then moved in into my one bedroom apartment. Of course, we were both so excited, of course. And when all his good arrived, and they were everywhere in my apartment. Oh gosh, can you imagine that? Everywhere. We can't even move. <laughs> yeah, at one moment, we both were so confused and start laughing and asking ourselves, what are we going to do now? Oh my God. Maybe should we move to another bigger place? Uh-oh. <laughs> then I told myself, well, I will sort this out. So we put all the boxes together at one corner. And I started to decluttering my own stuff too. I know, before we do other people's stuff, we have to do our stuff first. So I start with myself. It wasn't so much in the kitchen, but a lot of shoes. <laughs> my shoes, electronic gadget, for example, like phone charger, phone char chargers, camera chargers, audio system, books, yeah, his book, a lot, everywhere. Of course, gifts, souvenirs, and clothes, my clothes, oh, especially, a lot. Shirt, t-shirt, you name it, like pants, jeans, cotton, summer pants, everything I have. Short, jumpers, scarf, undies, socks, bow tie, belt. Huh. I started to realize that we have a lot of similar stuff, unused stuff, and some never used and still with the tag and price, that we almost forgot that we had them. So everything was in my head and of course, I cannot sleep at night just thinking about what is the best to sort everything out to make sure we both are happy. <laughs> Not fighting, happy. So out of sight on that time, my mom picture came across my mind. So I remember one thing that my mom always told and taught us yeah, so using her technique and my childhood experience of living with her, I have learned how important it is to be organized by knowing mm -hmm, there are four W. Number one, what must I keep? What would I like to have? Mm -hmm. Number three, what to throw away? And last but not least, what to donate. So I made the technique simpler and I call it OZ for what's formula or the A4 formula. The A4 W formula. Well, well, that's all for today's episode about myself and why I started this podcast of Chit Chat with Ozzy, how to declutter, 
the things that I learned from my mom and how important it is to be organized. In my next episode, I am going to talk about how to declutter, why must you organize your wardrobe? <sighs> hello, hello, beautiful people. Thank you for listening to the Chit Chat with OZ podcast. Please make sure you subscribe to this video, to you, to this YouTube video, so you won't miss my next episode when they are released. Before I go, there is one thing that I need your help with. Please share this YouTube video with your family and friend. This podcast show notes are also written and available on this podcast through Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and uh, and all podcast channels. Most podcast channels. Please, please don't forget to leave a review. If you have any review and want to ask me a question on a future episode, yes, of course, why not? <laughs> or if you have any suggestion of topics that you want me to talk about on this season one, yeah, not season one, season, uh, yeah, season one, how to declutter, you can either post your comment to my Facebook group at Chit Chat with Ozzy. Or you can email me at chitchatwithozzy at yahoo.com chitchatwithozzy at yahoo.com Or through this YouTube video, you can write your comment below. Once again, my beautiful people, please tell your family and friend about this YouTube video. Stay tuned for our next exciting episode. Till then, bye!